In our next segment, we meet the team behind the game Wobbies, which was designed as a tool to strengthen social interaction skills for children with autism. Here's the story. So your job is to take care of the Wobby and make it as happy as you can. <laughs> autism poses major challenges for children and families. The disorder makes it difficult to read social cues and communicate verbally and non-verbally. It's also becoming more common. One in 68 individuals, according to the CDC, is diagnosed with autism. And so it's a, it's a very large number of individuals being diagnosed daily. And this epidemic has really caused a significant need at the public school level because there are a lot of kids coming and not a lot of folks that are trained to deal with the variety of skills those kids come to school with. To meet that need, Dr. Vasquez and Darren Hughes created a computer game that teaches autistic children some of the social skills they lack. The idea behind the game was that essentially you're putting the kid in the, the role of a caregiver. You have this character that we call a wubby, which is neither a boy nor girl, it's neither a cat nor a dog, but it has all the same basic needs that a kid might have. I think it was important that it seem non-threatening, so we don't use many uh, harsh edges, everything's kind of rounded. Really it was uh, some trial and error and some guesswork, but I mean on some solid foundations of you know, trying to create an environment that is not overstimulating, but also uh, is clear enough that they understand it relates to their home environment. There's a section in the game where the wooby is hungry and you go to a kitchen and you start feeding it food. And really it's an opportunity for the child to determine empathy there. And also to maybe think about themselves in terms of these emotions. So, you know, oh, I'm hungry and maybe, you know, I remember the wubby was sad when the wubby was hungry. Well, maybe that's, you know, why I'm not feeling well right now. I think that it can give them necessary emotional skills to bond with one another and form relationships with each other. Sapna is assisting Hughes and Vasquez by recoding Wubies so it works on common tablets and smartphones. For her, it's personal. In seventh grade, I actually volunteered in an autistic classroom and a lot of the kids got made fun of so much by the other um, students in school and I really wanted to help them out and make their life better. Sapna is also helping by testing the app I held an interaction session between the Wobbies and a subject named CJ today, and I think it went pretty well because in the beginning he didn't really know what to do, but as he started playing around with the game, I saw him really focus on the health meters and focus on the areas that were red and caring for the Wobby where it needed it most. CJ's mom thinks the app holds great promise. Almost all of these kids are very screen oriented. They all have iPads, iPhones, iTouches, they all play computer games, they all do things and it's easier for them to interact. We've discovered with CJ that if he's talking to someone over FaceTime or to the avatars, he will maintain eye contact. He will have more conversation just by using the screen. So what else can we do using the screen? So when Sapna said she had the app, I thought that's just the tip of the iceberg and people are just desperate for something like this. And here's, here's this young lady who's in high school who's creating this app working with Dr. Hughes, and what can this do? We, you know, the possibilities are just endless. For the researchers, it was important to create a product that was both effective and widely available. Most companies will develop applications and they're in it for really to make uh, money and they're obviously there to develop these applications for mass downloads, purchases. We were really more interested in the, developing an application to then really address specific skills, most notably the interrelational skills, the empathy skills, perspective taking skills, and we wanted to make sure that there was a strong research base to uh, demonstrate that there was a strong outcome of the game, uh, not only for parents but for our schools and the children to use and show hey yes this product not only is it fun but it also produces a great outcome for skills. Sapna has every intention of seeing that happen. My long-term research goal is based on two main projects. The first is expanding the Wubbies and then the second is involving another project called Teach Live and those are mixed reality avatars. Something like Teach Live is not going to be available to the mass population. Just the communication devices that they were using, some of them are $4,000. The cost is going to be very prohibitive for most people, but an app is not. You're starting to look at something that can just change 
everything for these kids and for these families. My long-term goal is to use the Wubbies as a diagnostic test to determine kids that can benefit from the Teach Live therapy. If the Wubbies can prove which children will benefit, parents of the kids will be a lot more likely to pay for that expensive therapy and help out the kids.